the smokestack and a Notre Dame man hung in effigy and with the smoke almost going straight up you realize that there is very little wind here today on a 30 degree afternoon. Joe Azero kicking off for Notre Dame. Frank Waters in single safety. Waters coming up to the 10 yard line. Moving up to the 15, the 20, the 25. And is down at about the 31. Let's see. The ball squirted loose. Let's see if it is ruled a fumble. No. Michigan State had the ball 34 minutes to 27 for Notre Dame. Pardon me, they had the ball uh, 13, 17 minutes to 13, which of course was the game plan that they wanted to use. They ran 34 plays to 27. Jimmy Ray handing off to one of his halfbacks. Dwight Lee, and there is a fumble now, and Notre Dame has recovered the football. Kevin Hardy, Pete Duranko running off the field, and Foley O'Brien remains in at quarterback. He has thrown one touchdown pass today. And an interception by Jesse Phillips of Michigan State. And look at their joy. Jimmy Ray now with his back to the wall at about the two-foot mark. Ray keeps. Jimmy Ray with Lee, Cavender, and Jones in the backfield. Second and seven from the three. Ray again. And it's Jimmy Ray. We have a record crowd of 80,011, breaking the old record of 78,733 at the Michigan game this year. Jimmy Ray, there's Gene Washington at the 20 yard line. Jimmy Ray moving up the middle. You see 26 Clinton Jones. Lee is 34. And it was Lee that got the handoff on a marker is down as Clinton Jones is forced out of bounds by Page from Hawaii. Pointing at the high pump. High pass. Gets it off beautifully. Tom Shane fair catch at his own 42. The score Michigan State 10, Notre Dame 7. Holy uh, O'Brien to Bob Blyer. And Blyer is tripped up by Sterling Armstrong. Larry Conjar, third and less than a yard. And it appears that Coley O'Brien from McLean, Virginia, played some this year, but not a lot. Liar inside the 45. 
Washington. Dave Haley is in the Notre Dame lineup now, going out on a pass. But the Michigan State pass rush. Flyer. For the fighting Irish. Bob Apiza is in a fullback for the Spartans. In his own end zone to Washington. Gene Washington. Ray is five for nine passing. Beautiful play by Kevin Hardy, number to make it 10 7. And Quentin Jones. For the second time today, shows his ability at Jimmy Ray, his rushing yardage. And Bob of Pisa, I pass again. Tom Shane looking at it, calling for a fair catch, but then allows it to go into the end zone. There'll be a touchback. Gladio comes to the near side, as does Seymour. You see him at the bottom of your screen from the 20. Foley O'Brien. At the 30, that is Blyer, Conjure, Blyer, along with Gladio behind O'Brien. Good fake by O'Brien. Conjure, the fullback. That was Gladio, and now it's a second down and 10. Blyer is back in the lineup. That is Haley, number 22, from Hingham, Massachusetts. So Seymour to the far side, Blyer in motion. I think this sophomore is doing a great job. Loose ball! Offside against Michigan State on the play, bud. Number 25. Five yards to gain, down is replayed, second down, and going wide is Haley. And getting him in a hurry was Sterling Armstrong, the former coach of Northwestern, Eric Parsegan. First down, Notre Dame and Larry Conjure. At the left, that is Seymour. Liar. Seymour and Haley to the near side. Conjar, the senior fullback, a single man behind the quarterback, O'Brien. Three potential receivers are out, and there they go. Foley O'Brien, they're covered. Jeff Richardson. At the end of the third quarter here at Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan, the score is Michigan State 10, Notre Dame 7. We'll try to tie the score. From the 17 plus 10, a 27 yard kick. Here it is. It's good. As we have a zero kicking off to Michigan State. Frank Waters has the ball just across his own 20 yard line, and Gene Washington now to the near side. First and 10 for the Spartans. A long pass to Washington. Tom Shane covering on the play. From the 22, it's second down and 10 for Michigan State with a score tie. Washington. And look at him rush. Jimmy Ray, the junior, from the 34 to the Notre Dame, 46, first down. Clint Jones, who is being most certainly keyed on. Big NCAA and ABC doubleheader. Second down and nine. And busting through was Jim Lynch, the third and 11 from the 47. Down. There you see an illegal motion 
signal from the referee. Green is deep, number seven. And it's sky high. Fair catch at about the seven yard line. Wow, from the seven. O'Brien hands off to a bucking Larry Conjure. Second down and nine from the eight. Bob Flyer. Third down and six. And Blair was gunning Fighting Irish. Alan Brenner is deep. And Hardy gets off a of beauty. At the 46, it's Alan Brenner. And Brenner is smashed. And don't forget the second game of today's doubleheader. Bob Apiza for the lineup. As Clint Jones. Lee, a wingman for the option. There's Washington. And eight minutes, 52 seconds left in it. Up in the air, a total of eight seconds, allowing those kick coverage men to get there. We're in the fourth and final quarter. Seymour to the near side. Foley O'Brien on our keeper. Second and nine from the 14, Foley O'Brien. And Seymour, third down and nine for Notre Dame. Seymour is there, but the pass was high. Brenner is alone in single safety. A fine punt, a fair catch at the 48 of Michigan State. Jimmy Ray, who's six for 13 passing, sticks to the ground, and Dwight Lee, the junior from New Haven, Michigan. Our eye formation, they pass from it. Intended for Dwight Lee, her eye formation. Intercepted by Tom Shane. Credit for the rush there also. It forced Ray to throw when he's off balance. From midfield, Coley O'Brien gives to Rocky Blyer, who goes to the 45 of Michigan State. Coley O'Brien gets a rush, and he got a rush. That will be your screen. And here in the second half. And he skies it. It'll uh, go into the end zone, through it, and it'll come back out to the 20. First down. Tom Shane. His second interception. Even if their offense does not move the ball to the goal line. And from the 19-yard line, it was Larry Conjar, the foot for Notre Dame. Dave Haley. The third and 17 at the 24. Out goes Seymour. Flyer is out there. Now they kick from the 31. It's a 41-yard attempt by Joe Azero. He's three for three this year. It's up. No good. And now Michigan State, first and 10 from their own 20. Second and That was the second down and 15 play. Lot formation with a flanker. Third and 15. It's going to be mighty close. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the game with the score tied. Inches away from Jimmy Ray at quarterback. And it it, first down, Michigan State. From the 31, first and 10 for Michigan State. Two minutes, 55 left. And look at that pursuit by the Notre Dame defense. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the ball game. It's score is tied. That's in the 
And the man that has been seldom used, Alan Brenner, on the third and five. Brenner, Brenner broke the wrong way. A minute 35 seconds left in the game. Fair catch call for at the foot. Notre Dame's Tom Shane recovers his own fumble. Ole O'Brien filling in for the injured Terry Henratty. Fakes beautifully. Gets a block from Conjure. And then trips over his own man. 47 seconds left in the ball game. Second down and six. Score tied. Here's Ole O'Brien. Rocky Flyer. George Webster is number 90. At the moment, we have a tie ball game. But 34 seconds isn't, isn't really a long period of time. Well, what is if uh, Notre Dame can pick up this first down because they will have good field position with four timeout remaining. It doesn't take very long to run a play, Chris, when you can kill the clock even right. if you do not get out of bounds, and it gives you the whole field from sidelines to sidelines to work on offensively. Haley goes to the far side. Seymour to the near side. Third and four. That was Conjure that was trying for the first down. Let's watch it closely. The uh, referee indicated that it is a fourth down. They did not make the first down. It's just shy of the 40-yard line. And now Eric Parsegian faces the same decision that Duffy Doherty had a few moments ago. Do you kick it away, or do you try to keep possession of the football? Terry Henratty is over there directly behind Eric Parsegian. Boy that uh, sustained a shoulder separation early in the ball game, and we have to salute Coley O'Brien for pulling in so capably. Well, it looks as though we're going to have a player come into the ball game. Number 38 of Notre Dame comes into the lineup. That is. Dushney, Ron Dushney in the lineup. If the game does end in the tie, Chris, it's one of those contests that makes you feel he ought to have an extra period in college football. Okay, but, but Notre Dame lines up in an eye with a wing back, and the linemen are in punch. There they go, trying for the first down, and they get it. Holy O'Brien. Just kept that ball, and you see there are 10 seconds left in this battle. It's left in this battle. At halftime, it was 10 to 7. So we have only had a field goal kicked here in the second half. Touchdowns by Cavender of Michigan State today, by Gladio of Notre Dame. Dick Kenny kicking a 46-yard field goal. And Joe Azero kicking a field goal for Notre Dame. When you have two fine teams that are as well coached as these two 11s, they have an opportunity between halves to go in and discuss their strategy. Oftentimes, they get pretty much of a defensive stalemate in the second half. First and 10 from the 41. Two dangerous men set out here to the near side. Blair. Bubba Smith, number 95, breaking through as a Michigan State player, appears to have been shaken up on the blitz of the quarterback and the pinching by defensive end Phil Hoeg. So we have six seconds showing on the clock here at Spartan Stadium. That's the third time out for Michigan State. The second down coming up, it doesn't appear that they will be able to stop the clock enough to get possession themselves again. A 30-second meeting between these two schools in a series that has been most outstanding. Notre Dame leading in the series 17 games to 12, but since 1948, State has won 12, and Notre Dame has won four. State won last year 12 to 3. The previous year, Notre Dame with John Hewitt and Jack Snow down the Spartan. Seymour to the near side. And Coley O'Brien retains possession. And 
and it looks like that's all at Spartan Stadium.